In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the animated menu navigation slide design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added three icons here and this can be increased to four or five also. Now I have just put the like idea, then the location and the shopping and here you can add your main title. And when I click, you can see here the first icon goes up and the text comes the idea here and then you can add any image of your choice or any text you can add it here and when I click this will come you can see here this is the second one the location and again when I click the third comes the shopping so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide go to insert shapes and from rectangle select the rectangle draw the rectangle at the bottom of the slide you can see here and then go to shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any color of your choice i'm going to select this particular color and then go to insert icons and again choose any uh, three icons of your choice so i'm just going to select this one the first one and then let me just select the second one which is the the shopping one and the third one I'm going to select the the location one and click insert you can see here three icons has been added here so let me just place the icons in the right place I'm going to place this one here then second one I'm going to place in the center and the third one I'm going to place it here and if you want you can add four or five also not a problem so let me just select all these three icons and go to format graphic outline just make it white and graphic fill make it no fill so you end up getting with this shape i'm going to add the oval shape now go to insert shapes and from basic shape select the oval shape just draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here and bring this down it has to cover all like this so let me just take it down here and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to fill this with white let me just increase a size a little bit more and place it exactly here and then I'm going to duplicate this slide for that select the slide right mouse click and click on duplicate slide so you can see here the duplicate slide so I'm going to select the slide, this slide and go to the transition. I'm going to select the morph transition. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this uh, oval shape at the top here and this also I'm going to bring it top. So before that, I'm just going to change this color, go to format. I'm going to select the graphic fill as white. You can see here. Or better one I'm going to select the same color of this let me just show you it looks something like this I'm going to bring this up here you can see here halfway through and then bring this and go to format bring to front and bring it here and even if you want graphics outline also you can give the same outline so let me just play now how it looks if I, you see here it looks something like this but this is very slow you can make it more faster in that one go to the transition you can see the duration here reduce the duration here maybe 0.75 so if I play now it comes something like this you can see here and then I want to add the text here I'm just going to insert text box and I will just say idea here again make it white so that it will be visible center align again choose the font of your choice and I'm going to place it here so let me just see here it comes something like this you can see here so our design for the second slide is ready so if you want you can just add any image here for example i'm just going to select my design Control c and i'm going to bring it here Control v 
so you can just add any design here but before adding the design let's finish this one so i'm just going to delete this now i'm going to the second one which is the location for that right mouse click and duplicate the slide so you can see here now we are in the third slide so in the third slide actually this one should go down so i'm just going to select it should go down you can see here the text also i'm just going to delete this and let me just select this you can see here again go to format sorry go to home you can just select the format painter and click on this one so again it backs to the normal i'm just going to bring to its original position and now i want the circle to come out from this but you can see here there's no circle here so what i have to do i have to just go to the previous slide i can just select this press ctrl c and ctrl v i'm just going to put it here you can see here sorry let me just yeah i'm just going to put it here and ctrl c i'm going to copy it here and then what i'm going to do is again i'm going to change this color to the same color so before that let me just bring this up you can see here let me just move this again halfway through it should stop here and this one again i'm going to select bring to front and you can see here i'm just going to change both this and bring it here so let me just play now from the first slide you can see here this is the first one and this is the second one you can see here if i go to previous yeah now it's time to add the text let me just copy this ctrl c and ctrl v here and i'm just going to put it and i'll just say location let me just play again this is the first and this is the second so now we need to do the similar thing for the third so before i duplicate this let me just select this press ctrl d and i'm just going to put it here so that in the next slide i can just bring this up now i'm just going to select this right mouse click and click on duplicate slide you can see here and then this has to be either i can just move it down not a problem and this also it should come down you can see here and i'm going to just select this format painter and click this again bring back to the original position and this one this will go up you can see here and this also will move up and let me just select the icon this icon color i have to just change it again and bring to front you can see here sorry i'm just going to bring this here and the text also i'm just going to copy this control c go to the next slide control v and put it here shopping so let's see now again from the first one if you see the first one comes then the second one comes the third one comes you can see here so uh, this is as simple and now you have done the basic design now it's time to add the detailed text here now let me just go to the slide one and if you want you can just add any text here this is your main title again whatever text you like to add you can just simply add that and then here what are the images for example i'm going to just copy this control c and i'm going to copy it here paste it here you can see here so similarly you can just do for this one this is the second you can add any image or any text here not a problem at all 
and then for this is the third one so let's see how it looks in the slideshow mode so this is the first slide i have put the main title here then the three icons and when i click you can see the first idea comes along with this image again when i click then the location comes here and when i click the third the shopping comes here so you can add as many as you want three four five and it's very good slide for the teachers or for the students to showcase their projects That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.